This is Brianna Rudder from HowToBlackHair.com and I will be teaching you how to do Senegalese twists. To begin, make sure that you cut your bundle of hair in half, your bundle of braiding hair. And what you want to do is pull on the ends so that way the ends are tapered for a natural appearance. But for example, I'm going to be teaching you how to do a Senegalese twist with blonde hair so you can clearly see the technique being performed. What you want to do is put the middle of the hair into the middle of your section. Divide your parting into two parts and you're going to twist one section going towards your head. And make sure that to prevent the sliding that you have twisted it tightly against your scalp but not too tight where it hurts but tight to where it's firm. And then you're going to twist the other section as well going toward your face. Once you finish twisting, you are going to take one side and overlap it on the other side so that way this is actually forming the Senegalese twist. So once again, take one side and overlap it. And every time you overlap it, you're going to twist both sides and overlap and twist. You have to twist after overlapping each side so that when you near the ends, the twist was not done in vain. Because if you are not doing this technique consistently through the process, your twist will unravel. Every time you cross over, you're going to twist both sides and then cross over. So as you can see, I'm starting to go a little bit more of a normal pace, but I am still twisting each section after overlapping them. When you're done, make sure to use your scissors to trim off the little pieces that stick out so that way your twists look consistent. So now I'm going to show you how to do this with black hair, being that my hair is black and I'm going to make sure that it matches the same color as mine. You may be using dark hair as well, so this is realistically how it's going to look as you are twisting your hair. Make sure you're doing the same technique by twisting one side towards your head and then twisting the other side towards your face. So I'm constantly twisting in a direction going towards my head and now this is going to begin twisting toward my face. You're going to keep twisting until you're able to actually overlap both sides. So once you overlap one side over the other, you're going to twist both sides and overlap them again and keep repeating the same process for a consistent Senegalese twist. After you finish twisting all of your hair, you're going to divide your hair into two sections. And you're going to make sure to focus on one half at a time. So to keep all the hairs together, I'm just going to simply put a hair tie on both sides. So that way I'm able to keep track of where all of my ends are. Now make sure the ponytails are kind of pushed forward. So that way as you're dipping them, the steam doesn't roll up in your face, the actual steam particles. So once you finish dipping into the hot water, you're going to pull the twist out and you're going to gently dry the water off of your hair. Make sure to slide it down so that your twists are down and elongated and then use your scissors to trim off the unruly ends so that way you have a very neat looking Senegalese twist. Because as you can see, this would be your finished results. You can do a variety of styles on your hair. As you can see, there's a braided pompadour up top with a ponytail in the back. And now when you're ready to take down your style, make sure that you cut the end of your Senegalese and that you gently unravel with your fingers. As you're unraveling, make sure not to pull on your hair, but just to gently slide the extension from each section of your hair. So gently roll the extension and open it up so that way you're able to release your real hair from your twist. Thanks for watching the Senegalese Twist tutorial. For updates on new hairstyling tutorials, follow me on Instagram at Brianna Rudder.